everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here for another Zoo Kitchen side quest! Woo! Woohoo! But yes, today we are going to spend a little bit of time in our kitchen cooking up some fantastic foods, especially for our wonderful wolves that we have over there. The wolves and actually the peafowl both will take um, custom, custom foods that we can whip up for them in our kitchen. And we're actually over here to collect ingredients for the wolves' food because as you know, these wolves, they love their pork chops and well they're pork chops not their pork chops i keep forgetting what you call these things pork sausage that's what you call these things where's my door i know i have a door to get in here somewhere i just can never remember where i put it all right here's a door there we go redwood why it was just raining a moment ago and every time it gets like rain or water he loses his coloring it's kind of hilarious meadow spruce summer nutmeg for a maple hi everybody oh so much poop to scoop up so much poop to scoop up hello meadow Hello, how is everybody? But yeah, so today we're going to make a little bit of food for the dogs. We could make them some vitamin mixes. Uh, we could definitely make them some pork sausage. So we're gonna try to whip some of that together. Maybe some lemon scent. So we'll try to put all of those together. And let's see. Let me see, where'd Redwood go? He ran off somewhere. Also now we have a ton of dog poop that we just scooped that we need to put somewhere. So that's gonna be interesting. But to be able to make them their pork sausage, first things first, we need to come over and check our animal traps. And see, look at all the food waiting for us to collect in here. But unfortunately, it's only a couple pork sausages. Darn it. I was hoping we would get more dog food. But that's a good start. That's a good start. And the vegetable bait, I think, is the best to use when we're trying to attract uh, pork. Because this was berry bait, or fruit bait, I mean. And it looks like it got mostly rabbit and chicken, but we did get quite a bit of leather, some more feathers, some more bones, some more eggs. So these animal traps are very useful. Let's come over here and get some more of the veggie bait. I'm going to take half of it and I'm going to put it over here. So these are our little, our little animal traps. Oops, that's the poo. Whoops. <laughs> the little animal traps that we use to gather up food for our animals. There we go. And then we can just like take the poo and use it as fertilizer. There we go. So we've already got some more like spices that we can collect. We can even take the bones and we can just use the bones immediately as fertilizer. There we go. See, you guys wanted to grow. There. Yay, even more spices. So we now have a whole bunch of spice leaves and only two pork chops. So that's not great on the pork chop amount for making the wolves some of their pork, um, some of their pork, but we do have a lot of rabbit that we can give them at least. Do we have anything that I've been leaving in here? There's quite a few different meats, more rabbit. Let's see, oh, here's more veggie bait. Let's go put the veggie bait out. Do do do. Do to do, do, add more veggie bait. Whoops, not there, right here. There we go. We've even got more bones to turn into bone meal really quickly. Why not? Just gather up a whole bunch of the spice leaves really quick. And then one, two. There, lots and lots of wonderful spice leaves. Good. That should keep us well stocked and well supplied for providing the wolves with more food. And let's go check out what the pea fowl like, because I can't remember off the top of my head what the peafowl particularly enjoy when it comes to eating. So we'll go visit them. I know they love papaya, and we've been collecting a lot of the wild papaya that grows around our home. But I can't remember, like, I think it's steamed peas they enjoy? So we'll go see if it's steamed peas. Dun 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 All right. Ooh, and our bridge is almost done. I need to work on our bridge a little bit more too. All right, and then we'll wiggle over here. And there's so many mushrooms. We need to get something. What eats mushrooms? We need something we can feed mushrooms to because I've got a lot of those. So we need to find an animal that eats mushrooms and add it to the zoo because we have plenty of resources for something that eats mushrooms. All right, hello, Peafowl, hello. Hello, Keeper Ethan. So what do we feed these guys? Mixed salad, stuffed pepper, and steamed peas, woo. Also, raw snails, which we can get from the water crops. And let's see, bananas, figs, papaya, the poppies. And we can also trade eggshells to him. 
And then let's see, lettuce, broccoli, spinach. So mixed salad, stuffed peppers, steamed peas. Steamed peas sounds really fun, and I think we have peas. So let's see. Peas, steamed peas. So we, oh wow, look at that. It's just like steamed peas. It's literally just peas in a pot with some salt. That we can definitely pull off. Also has the papaya. Let's pick some perfect papaya. There we go, come here little papaya. And I'm gonna pick you, and I'm gonna pick you. And I'm gonna pick you. So we'll have papaya to feed to the birds. And then we'll try to make some food for ourselves as well, because my little veggie wraps, my little vegetarian lettuce wraps are now gone because I ate all of them. Also, I need to figure out an easier way to get back up top to my house. Maybe I should put a ladder? Yeah, I should probably put a ladder or something on this side, don't you think, guys? That would make it a lot easier to zip back to our home. Dun 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 other than having to go this way. I should have taken Sunflower. I should have just jumped on Sunflower's back and had her take us up and down. Alright, here we go. Bum 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 Woohoo! Ooh, you know what would be fun in the future when we have more like guest NPCs roaming around? Oh, and we definitely need to harvest up some more sugar for Primrose. But in the future, oh my goodness, hello little one. When we have more guest NPCs roaming around, it would be interesting if they had trades that had to do with like snacks or food you could bring them to make our guest comfortable. So it would be fun to gather those up. And let's go this way. Dun 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 dun. And there we go. Did I miss any? Any sugar cane? Very important. We need sugar. We need paper. <laughs> we're always in need of like lots and lots of sugar cane and lots and lots of paper. Ooh, and while we're over here, we're also always in need of lots and lots of string. It really would behoove us to get that spider glade worked on. So, oh man, that's what I love about these days. When we're just able to do a side quest and run around and try to get some tasks done, it really helps you just like step back and go, there's a lot to do in the zoo. I should probably prioritize it a little bit better. There we go. Not bad. We're going back home with tons and tons of food now. Not bad at all. All right, so let's go make the puppies some yummy food and let's make ourselves some yummy food and let's see if we can whip up some steamed peas. I think I'm growing peas in the garden. I may not be growing peas in the garden. We may need to start growing peas in the garden. But we'll see if we can whip up some steamed peas for doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, our pea fowl so they can have a delicious treat for the day. All right, up we go, up we go. Hello everyone, hello. Hey Primrose, are you hanging out with Carlos still? They seem to be having a fantastic time together, so that makes me happy. Hi. Hi. All right, so let's see. Peas, 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 peas. Do I have, ooh, I have a lot of peas. Look at that. I am rich in peas. And here's some spinach that we can take out to them. Didn't even know I had the spinach, so that's a big treat. Do I have any raw snails in here? No, I have raw turtles and other things, but no raw snails. And let's see, anything? Yeah, the salt we can definitely use. Um, I'm gonna put all of the, oh, thank you, Carlos. Well, I'm gonna put that over here. Hello, Martha, how are you? There we go. <laughs> Primrose is so cute. All right, we're gonna come down here and we're going to go ahead and put away all of the meat items except for the raw pork chop and the rabbit because we'll feed the rabbit over to the wolves as well. All right, that good? Yep. And let me go ahead, add the eggs to the egg basket and anything else? Do we have, do we have more? We have more papaya. I'll leave like a few papaya for myself, but we'll take more papaya over to the pea fowl so that they have something to eat. And then I have a carrot chest right over here for all manner of wild carrots. Um, I think I'm putting nuts like in special places. So I'm gonna put these pistachio nuts in there. I have coffee beans and normal beans. And here's some potatoes and here's some apples. So we can put these away. Apples go in the apple chest, potatoes go in the potato barrel. I guess these are barrels, not chests. And then hello Primrose. And now, yeah, I don't have my armor on. And now we can gather up. Let's see, first we need to cook the pork chop. And with the spice leaf and salt, that will make some delicious 
pork, um, I keep forgetting what they're called. Pork sausage, there we go, for our wolves. Do I have more salt? I sure do have more salt. So then we'll put the salt and the peas together. And then we need some water, so I need to get some water barrels. Some buckets of water. Let's see, oh, we've got plenty of buckets of water. So that will make the steamed peas for our pea fowl. And then we will have, oh, darling! Then we will have uh, prepared things for our animals and we can look into preparing a little bit of food for ourselves. So here we go. All right, we've got the pot, got fresh water, filling it up, add some salt, add some peas, and ta-da, steamed peas. I kind of want to keep a few of those for myself because that sounds really, really good, actually. There we go. And we'll wash this pot off, dun, 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 and put it back, doo, doo, doo. and then let's see what we're going to do. We're going to put the fresh water away. How are the pork chops? Pork chops are done. So now we need to pick up the cookie or the cutting board. And we're going to come over here and combine the spice leaf, the salt, and the cooked pork chops into pork sausage. Yay! There we go. Very useful. Very, very useful. Um, and then come over here, wash this off, put it back. And hello, darling. Are you curious about what I'm cooking? We should cook something yummy now. All right, so there we go. We've got some of the basic things for the animals prepared. So we have the raw rabbit and the pork sausage, the steamed peas and the spinach, and now we can cook some things for ourselves. So what sort of delicious things should we make up? We do have the grapes from last week. And what was it that we were originally going to make the grapes into? I can no longer remember. I think it was trail mix. We were going to make like trail mix out of the grapes, so what uses do grapes have? Grated grape, which you can use to make a speedy potion. Oh, that actually sounds really cool. I kind of want to do that, but to do that we would have to power the food processor, which actually involves a very complicated process to make a citrus battery. So that may not be today, but let's see. <gasps> That's right, the fruit crumble. The ground cinnamon is still missing. Oh, I really want the cinnamon so bad. Fermented grape, fruit bait, grape jelly, fruit punch, grape salad. Oh, that does sound really yummy. I don't know why. I'm just like in a grape mood today. Grape salad actually sounds really yummy. So what would we need for fruit salad? Just any two fruits. Let's make a couple grape salads because that sounds nice and fresh. Let's do grape and cherry salad. Hmm. Berry salad, basically, because we have strawberries here. And we've got a lot of berries. So I wonder if I should just like make a whole bunch of different berry salads. Let's see, and let's see. Grape, grape, grape. And we need that salad, whoops a doops Woo, okay, oh yeah, that's right, we can make raisins. And that makes the trail mix and the spiced buns and the walnut raisin bread. I kind of remember what we were doing now, you guys. We were trying to follow like this little chain of stuff so we could make cookies and walnut raisin bread for our friends. I remember now. And we were gonna make like little trail mix pieces. Oh, that's right. All right, Hi. we'll turn half these grapes into grapes for fruit salad. And we will turn half the grapes into raisins. And then we'll have the raisins to put aside for something in the future. All right, so fruit salad just needs the cutting board and like any two fruit. And there we go. So it's gonna be cherry and, basically cherry and um, berry salad. And then you just grab that and the grapes. Let's see, do I have to have two, two stacks of grapes? Come on. It's fruit salad. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uses. Oh, we just need to put it together normally. There we go. And now we just toss some grapes on top of our fruit salad. And ta-da! Grape salad! Oh, now that sounds delicious. That sounds like something we could put in with the confus or with any of the birds, actually. So the birds would really enjoy that. And then I actually want to make some grape juice. Where's the juicer? Let's get some juicers going. And I'm gonna make a little bit of grape juice. Ah, oh, look at this. We're finally gonna have like, wash, 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 a lot of food to turn to during the week when we're so hungry. That makes me happy. And let's go ahead and we're making raisins now. Woohoo! Putting the grapes in there and making raisins. And mmm, hmm, bamboo shoots sound really good too. I don't think I have bamboo shoots growing anywhere, do I? Ooh, we need to go plant bamboo shoots outside. Oh, thank you, Carlos. I'm gonna go put this away. 
And also, oh, thank you, Martha. Dang it, Nightlock. Get off the essence berries, Nightlock. All right, let's go take a quick nap. Dun 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 And then, there we go. Nightlock, you really need to be more careful walking on all those essence berries. But yeah, let's take a quick nap after that. Well, no, we just took a quick nap. That's what I meant. I was thinking, what do we do after the quick nap? Well, now that we slept, we're going to go outside and we're going to plant the bamboo shoots. Because I really... Do you guys like bamboo shoots? Because I am a big fan of bamboo shoots. I think they are very, very yummy. Oh, I forgot about our loot of adventure box. That's right. This is where I'm keeping my graves. And this is where the exploding arrows um, are from. Oh, man. So fun. Give some gratitude. Mossy treasure chest. I never remember, like, where my essence berries go. All right, I need to work with Bella so that we can give her like essence berries and turn it into experience potions and just call like the experience potions essence berry potion. Doesn't that sound cool, darling? I think it sounds so cool. All right, let's run out here where I have to light everything up because Primrose has very helpfully, I'm not, I'm not joking, it has been very helpful, uh, very helpfully lit up the world where it needed lit up. Hello, puppies. My beloved doggies, I'm gaining zookeeper experience to care for you. All right, so actually, I kind of want to put the bamboo shoots over here. Um, in fact, I wonder, should I put them down here? I wonder, I wonder. Hmm. Hmm. Or up along here? So they're kind of up along the riverbank? I kind of want to put them over here, I think. Maybe. Maybe over here. This seems like a good spot for them. Except for the fact that these are going to have, like, a bazillion of the, the colored tiles. Or the, the, not the colored tiles, the mixed blocks. There we go. And now I need some dirt. Gotta, gotta just swap these out too. Oh, look, there's some dirt. All right, come here, you. And pick up that mixed block. Good. There, that should be the spot that we're able to put down. Do, do, do. And boink. That we are able to put down um, dirt instead of mixed blocks. And now I need to exchange this mixed block. I had two. I wonder where the other one went. Huh. Um, you. Who, who's probably not going to be a garden spot? Probably you. All right, there we go. And grab the dirt. Yay! So now we're going to have a little spot where we can have some bamboo shoots. And I'm going to give them a little bit of a boost. We have some bone meal. So you're going to add some bone meal. There we go. And swap it out so that we can get a little population of bone, uh, bone shoots, <laughs> of bone meal go, or uh, sorry, of bamboo shoots going. And then we're going to use the enriched soil that we've been saving up from our composter. And it doesn't quite work as bone meal every time, but it works about 50% of the time. Ooh, look at all that. Oh, what bounty. What glorious bounty. Look at all those. Oh my goodness. That's a healthy population of bamboo shoots, if you ask me. All right, see, we can just come along, kind of smack all of them. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Grow, my little ones. This is fun. It's like we're composting the soil, adding healthy, healthy fertilization to the soil and things like that. All right, there we go. And from one bamboo shoot, just like that, we now have 18 and a nice little garden spot. I kind of want to tidy it up a little bit more with some plants. So I wonder... Something kind of orchidy. Hmm. Let's see. Anything in here? Hmm. Like the torch ginger. I wouldn't mind a torch ginger or two. Or maybe some water horsetail over there. Because it's kind of like up against... Ooh, or even some aspen, asper bamboo. That might be kind of fun to add like a couple bamboo pieces. And then we can knock them down and constantly have um, supplies for our composter. Because bamboo makes for excellent and cheap and easy to grab compost. All right, and then I think maybe some horsetails? That actually sounds really fun. Working on our garden a little bit, woo! All right, let's see. How about you? Whoops, wrong spot. Wrong thing, Asper bamboo. Ooh, look at him grow! He's just shooting right up there. And then maybe one right there. And then we can put down like a couple little horse tails. Oh, I like it. I like it. We're finally starting to get a little bit of decorative touches going on along our riverbank. I like it. There we go. 
That looks much better with a little bit of plant matter down. I like it. All right, so that's probably good for out here for now. Um, oh my goodness, there's so much to gather up. What the heck was that? Who knows? Oh my gosh, look at everything. So many plants. So many tomatoes, so many pa like chili peppers. All right, tomatoes and okra. I feel like my dogs are helping me because all of a sudden nothing's showing up in my inventory. Pretty darn sure you guys are helping me, huh, Ash? Huh, fine. Ash, come on, scooch out of the potatoes a little bit, buddy. All right, I got one potato back, so... I got one potato back. I'm fighting with them. Oh, they got my potatoes. They got all my potatoes. <laughs> you guys! You guys, let mom, let mom collect some of her stuff. She's trying to harvest her garden here. All right, there we go. There we go. So I have like no potatoes from that harvest, but next time we wash the dogs, we'll get quite a few of them, I bet. All right, plenty of carrots. I'm still thinking like I would love to learn how to make custom additions to our mods because sauteed okra is like one of the most delicious things ever. And I really feel like it needs to be included in, uh, in the Harvest Craft mod, because it is, it is just so freaking yummy. Ooh, and zucchini! I can't wait till we can make zucchini bread for all of our friends. That's going to be so exciting. Do we need the, um... I wonder if we need the cinnamon for zucchini bread. I can't remember. But, good news! We have now gotten grape salad and grape juice from today's little cooking just for ourselves. And we have cooked quite a bit for our animals, too. We even have the papaya. Let's see, put this away. I can take some of the lettuce. Well, I want to keep the lettuce for lettuce wraps, actually. And the tomatoes I want to keep um, for making ketchup and things out of. It would just be fun to start cooking things for our friends out of our summer harvest and taking it to them on a regular basis, don't you think? I think it'd be a lot of fun. All right, put these away. Let's see anything else that we're not feeding to the animals. We're taking the papaya and I'm leaving the bamboo shoots, leaving the sugar cane. Still need to try out the drying rack and the tea that Ben has so kindly left for us. So we got to work on that. Oops. And I've got to put away my gardening stuff. There we go. So there we go. Oh my goodness. Delicious grape salad, steamed peas. I think that the birds would really love steamed peas. Can you just imagine setting out all of the bowls of steamed peas and being like, here you go, pea fowl. And have you ever watched birds eat seeds and steamed peas and things? I have because of feeding them to parrots in the past. And it's just so much fun because they like pick them up with their little feet. Probably not the pea fowl because they're a little bit big for that. But they pick them up with their little feet and they like look at them with their little beady eyes and they're like, food. And it's so adorable to watch them eat it. So this is how we enrich the lives of the animals in the zoo and also provide food for ourselves. Lots of grapes. We still need to make the other grape too, so we might have some gardening side quests coming up pretty soon. Because as usual, there's so much to do in the zoo. Hello, Crystal Seer! So this is our peafowl of prophecy all grown up right here. And it's hanging out with a, um, a vulture. So I don't know what to make of the vulture. No one, everyone says they didn't put the vulture in our exhibit. So the vulture came all on its own to our exhibit. We'll have to figure out what that means later. All right, Ethan. So we're gonna trade to him all of the delicious steamed peas we have made so that the pea fowl have plenty of food. We're also going to trade the papaya that we gathered so that they have more food and the spinach too. So there we go. Woo, look at all that. We're gonna be rich, yay. All right, and then we're going to come out here and we are going to zip over dun 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 to the wolves and I really should have brought sunflower. <laughs> it makes getting around the zoo so much faster. We probably will provide flash teleportation points um, just so people can get to and fro from within the zoo. So they won't be hooked up to the main teleportation area. But at the same time, it's kind of fun for the walk. And if we added arches and fountains and all sorts of things, then people might enjoy the walking part of it. So hopefully we can make it an enjoyable experience. All right. And then rotate. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. And let's go check on our dogs. Be careful, Mr. Mushroom. Oh, I need to get more lily pads. That reminds me. All right, and the puppies have been in their den for a couple weeks now, and they might start getting old enough that we should start seeing them roam out. Hey, Redwood, roaming out 
with their parents. Hello, puppies. Oh my goodness, so much poop to scoop. Hi, little ones. Hi. All right, so let's come over here. And I'm actually going to feed both the pork sausage to mama because she's gonna be the one producing the milk for all the babies. So Meadow, you get both the pork sausage, but we'll give the babies a little taste of food. We'll give, let's see, there's one for you. Summer, come here. There's one for you. Everybody gets a little bit of rabbit. Spruce, did I just feed you? I can't remember. All right, Summer, Spruce, and Fur fed you. Maple, come here. There we go. Nutmeg, come here. There we go, wonderful. And now we need to find Redwood. Where'd he go off to? He's such a, oh, there he is. Redwood, you got in the water again. Every time he gets in the water, his coat color changes. It's kind of funny. He should probably have a couple uh, rabbits because he's defending the family home. And that's everything for them. And woo, there we go. All right, you guys, the animals in the zoo are fed. We're fed. Huzzah, huzzah. Our bellies are gonna be full. We've got bait set in the traps again. We have more ideas of things that we need to garden and build. Ooh, look at that. Yes, raw pork chop already. And just the, the daily chores of the zoo that we need to tend to. Making sure our animals are fed. Making sure that all of the gardening is going well. There we go. Let's add you in here. There we go. Good, 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 good. So there we are, Whew, that was that was really fun. I actually really love Zoo Kitchen Days. I love the cooking aspect of everything. And I love that we really need to keep our eyes peeled for cinnamon now. So that's gonna be one of our biggest challenges is trying to find cinnamon. And so I'm gonna ask everybody if they have happened to stumble on any cinnamon trees. Um, and if not, I don't know, I'll go check Mara. Maybe Mara's garden has some cinnamon in it. So maybe we just need to head over to Mara's garden, everybody. She probably has cinnamon. She pretty much has every single plant ever. So we'll go check her garden. And next time, we'll have to see if we can set up an NPC to take care of the Confuciornis birds and then be able to make them some really delicious fruit salads and maybe some fish. There were all sorts of theories about what they ate or maybe figure out how to like make them a little like insect or grub salad. So we'll figure that out and I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.